sixth round exit in last year's Girls Sweet 16, Franklin County was poised for a better showing. Poised to make a run at a state title, the Lady Flyers beat Shelby Valley in the opening round today, taking on Campbell County in the quarterfinals. Second quarter, Anna Aristia out of the corner. Her third three of the half, she was shooting like Alex Poitras. Slater. The Lady Flyers led 33-26 at the break in the fourth quarter. Deja Kilborn drives and scores. Franklin County on top 39-33 with two and a half minutes to play. Final minute of the game right there. That's Princess Stewart finds the crease and gets the score plus the foul. She had 14 seconds left. Franklin County up three. They needed a stop and they get it right there. Taylor Kloss gets called for the push off before that shot and Franklin County escapes with a 41-38 win to advance to the semifinals. It was tough, but uh, I knew that me and my teammates, we would pull out the win. We've been wanting to make it this far longer than anyone knows. We got some stops when we needed it and some rebounds, and it sure would have been nice to make a few more layups and free throws, but we're not going to argue at 6.30 tomorrow night about where we're playing. Mercer County also back in the Sweet 16 for a second straight year, facing Holmes today in the quarterfinals. Second, final seconds of the first quarter. That was Lexi Lake in the corner for the three. Puts the Titans up by six. Big second quarter here for Mercer County. Good passing gets it to Emma Souter. Mercer up 31-18 at the half. They had to hold on the rest of the way. Nice move there by Sagan Robbins. She had 21 points, and down the stretch they go. Emma Davis to a cutting Emma Souter. Emma's everywhere, and so are the wins in Mercer County. The season continues 59-55. They will play Franklin County on Saturday. I knew that we had the ability to get this far, but, I mean, you just never know what's going to happen when you get here, so it's pretty amazing. I know our school had already made history for our girls' team, and now we just get to keep pushing and hopefully win a state championship. I was so happy when the buzzer went off and we won. And on the other side of the bracket, Murray advances with a win over Owensboro Catholic. Butler edges E-Town 61 to 59. So it will be Murray and Butler in the late semifinal game. But with Mercer County and Franklin County playing tomorrow night, that guarantees that at least one Central Kentucky team will be in that championship game on Sunday. That'll do it for sports.